let's see. I was in East Dubuque. I have been all over telling you what day I was where. But in the last four days, we've been doing a tour. So this is our Joe Davis aspect of uh, the tour of the whole district. So our launch tour, four days, 14 counties. We've been having a blast. We started in Peoria and then have worked our way up. And we're ending tomorrow night with a huge launch event in the Quad Cities. So. And, um Small businesses. Just this morning, I got to tour a manufacturing company that makes uh, parts that go all over the world, literally. So, touring, sat down with restaurant owners, um, sat down with mayors. I had lunch with Mayor of Freeport. So, we've been going really all over the district to hear from different types of people, whether business owners, workers, elected officials, to focus on what do people care about. What are the issues of the day? And what I'm hearing is that across the district, what Washington DC is doing, the policies that they're putting forth are just hurting us as normal everyday people. Whether it's the gas crisis, our, our, what we pay at the pump has gone up by 30% since January, or the jobs crisis, the policy of Washington DC directly resulting in paying people to stay home from work is hurting our companies. Help wanted signs are businesses across the district. All these policies, you, you can just go on and on, whether it's a Middle Eastern crisis or a border crisis or all these crises, these crisis upon crisis that didn't exist even just six months ago. Uh, people want, they want the federal government, what I'm hearing is they want the federal government to get out of the way. They want, they're angry, they're upset about what's happening in our country and they see 2022 as a fight and that's what I'm in for in this race is fighting for just our American values, our, our traditional American values like faith, freedom, family. So 2022 is going to be a fight and as you know I am an army trained JAG officer. I'm a warrior ready for the fight.